Morning, everyone. Welcome to Highfield Road in Bolton, in Greater Manchester. Last night, a uh, car drove. Can you move back a bit? Sorry? Hey, mate, can you just move back a bit? Um, I'm behind the yeah, counter, mate. I'm okay. Oh, I see, I see. Yeah, you go ahead. Yeah, yeah sorry. We'll just move this further off. Cool, man. Hey, Michelle. So, um, as I was saying, a car last night at some incredible speed decided to come barreling down Highfield Road. In fact, the little Nissan <laughs> decided to try and make love to the house sideways. So, uh, imagine you're just hanging out. You're just watching the latest episode of Rick and Morty and then a Nissan ends up in your living room. Now, you can see the brick build. The whole house has not collapsed, but of course they have to be careful. Now, I hope they have home insurance. Look at that. You saw the moment I start doing my little report, they decide they have to extend the cordon. What? Hi, morning. morning. But it's okay. We can always work around it. I think you can get quite a good uh, angle of the dangle from here as well. Oh, yeah, hold on. First of all, we'll give you the wide scene. Wide scene, for context. And then we use the main sensor to get uh, a slightly more punched in scene. Wow. Well, now we're going for some proper detailing. Anyway, look at that double glazing. It's not even broken the glass. That's pretty impressive. That's some good going there. Because viewers love to check to see if you've got MOT and road tax and all that good stuff. Why are Yankee Romeo 63 Charlie Delta Foxtrot? Here comes the reinforcements. Here we go. There you go. Big sticks, big metal poles and support. Now that I've been on the scene for a few minutes, I can't for the life of me figure out how this happened. He couldn't have come from here. That gap is too small. These blast marks are too accurate for a... No, I'm not going to go there. Um, the driver must have, must have come from here hit it, nah, 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 and then flipped round to there. That's my theory. Orange man's taking his big support pull. When you're, when you're about to collapse, you need some men with support poles. Here we go. Because you will get by with a little help from your friends with support poles. Brand new ones. So just to my left off camera, there's three ladies from Bolton at Home, which is a housing association. And they're of it. I'm sorry? It's not a housing association? No, it's a housing association. So there's two of you from Bolton at Home. So you took offense that I said there was three of you from Bolton at Home. I don't think that would detail was that important, but anyway, thank you for interrupting my thing. Anyway, these are the ladies from Bolton at Home. They're here to help the people in the house get rehomed. And uh, again, as usual, bad attitudes and bad vibes because who cares? It's a man with a camera. Anyway, to the ladies in front, I'll chop off my pinky later on for daring to say there was three of them from Bolton at Home. There's only two of them from Bolton at Home. I'm thank God she interrupted me to say that. Only two of them, Charlie. Anyway, the normies were looking at me funny the moment I got out of the car with a camera. We'll leave them to it. I think there's more drama in uh, British Stab Fest number two, also known as, or is it number three? Is maybe Birmingham is Stab Fest number two. I'll see you guys back in Stab Fest number three, city center. 
And now, a major Academy Award-winning production, one man... ...and his goose. Ah, Manchester. Is this a dull moment? Is it fair to say never a dull moment? I think right now, this year, right now, it's very second, this is the only dull moment of the day. So here's a route we never take together. We're uh, going away from the city centre, along, I was going to say the Thames, that's not the Thames, that's the Irwell. Thames is in London, viewers, there's more than one river in the UK. We have the Severn, the Tweed, the Irwell, and the Thames. We've got four rivers in, in the UK, it's a true story. Oh God, it's all looking a bit, a bit film crewy here. Oh God, look at them, all ideologically stuck. Stunted. Oh well, fuck them. Well, 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 the developers are busy making money. Good on them. They're busy making Manchester, turning it from a regional backwater of uh, yokels and peasants into a skyscrapery global city where Chinese, whatever, Americans, Germans, Israelis, whoever, Indians, the best people though. We gotta bring back some sort of, you know, quality control and immigration. Because, uh, because uh, as the van says, dude, something's not working. Something's not working out. Yes, machinery, I'm in my element. Like any man is, look at them. Clay tennis court, it's what you need. So much activity. You plus Nyon. You onion. Do you want to live in in you onion? You onion looks quite good actually. You onion. I wonder if uh, yeah, I'll be allowed in here. Surely. Surely. What have we got? Welcome to Aviva Home Studios, home of Factory International. What's he getting out of the back of that lorry? Well, I don't know. That doesn't look very safe. He's not lodged it properly on the. <laughs> Anyway, this is where your taxpayers' money has gone to building these big, monstrous, concrete, bullshit zones that satisfy a few, uh, retarded... Oh, God. Oh, God. Where am I going with this? So they've got, uh, some random lady who, uh, whose face is not portraying any charisma doing the bullet time. Trinity! He's gonna shoot me, Trinity! But she's dodged it. She's dodged it, and uh, Thanos has dematerialized her as well. They're getting their, uh, getting all mixed up. But what do I mean by no charisma? I mean, just, just look at that. Look at that, where's, where's the charisma? There's none. Oh God, there's some art. There's art, guys. Here at Aviva Studios. Oh, uh, well, it's people dancing. Great. That, that's deep. That is profound. Give them another grant for a hundred million pounds out of my taxpayer's pocket. This is almost as good as Bradford Stabfest 4 winning European City of Culture 2025. God, they've done a massive whole wall of where's your charisma. Oh, they got Arsenio Hall in it. Go on, Arsenio. <laughs> Dog's like, yeah, you pick up that shit. Well... We're near something, but uh, these are all brand new photons. I have countless, no one can count them, no one, countless Manchester videos. And I'm happy to say that these photons shining off these structures have never been seen before. Booking.com, very familiar with that company. Cloud Imperium, sounds like something the Romans would like. Hey, Titus. Yes, Tiberius, have you got your Cloud Imperium installed? to know what is it what is cloud imperium all right booking.com is in here as you can see where is it i'm not trying to wind up a security guard i promise i don't do that anymore 
it's that interesting channel called me the most argu argumentative man in Britain. Let's look at some ancient Greece instead. It says, uh, we, the Spartans alongside the Hebrews, prophesy the arrival of Charles Veach, photon collector. Ad Astra, he will go. This one here says, um, beware the white man with the massive organ. He is rare, like the African with a small organ. Or something. I'm just getting some shots, nothing bad. What is Cloud Imperium? I know Booking.com, I use them all the time, but what's Cloud Imperium? Gaming company. Thought so. Thought so. Cool, man. Sorry, I was just, because I've never been in this area, I was just yeah, getting yeah. some shots. Sorry to disturb you, I wasn't. Um, See that, guys? I'm not arguing. How does that feel, huh? Huh? Very, very long term viewers will be saying, Charlie, what happened? We recognize this street. We recognize people carrying papier mache bits of cave into the new crystal maze studio here. And we remember a security guard coming outside and uh, reversing his bottom into your groin. Whatever happened to that video? Charlie. First of all, we'll, we'll enjoy this car here getting his not allowed certificate. Wow. Imagine parking somewhere where people can ruin your day. I just don't do it. Now, yeah, so video got 200,000 views over here. I bump into the guy with his wife, with his kids at RHS Bridgewater in Salford. He's there. And he goes, Charlie, please, can you take that video down? And then he had his wife and kids there looking at me saying, please, for our daddy. So I made it private. Give it a decade. I'll launch it again. Maybe. You gotta love the optimism here of uh, Peugeot 2008 boy. There's all these things saying, do not park here. Do, do not park here, it says, do not park here. And it's like, oh, maybe I should check out a sign. It says, parking suspension. Do not park here at all. And you're like, okay, yeah, I'll risk it, I'll be fine. And here's our hero. Here he is, the hero. Don't hate on the parking attendants. Don't hate on them. Don't hate the player. Hate the game. It's not their fault. They have to work and provide for their families. I will like a, like I'll respect a parking attendant over a hundred men without a job. Don't mind me, just admiring the rear end of the new Subaru Forester all-wheel all drive. Oh, that lighting. So, it's all still suspended, as you can see. But, but if you're a diplomat with diplomatic immunity, I think that's Ireland. Country code 185, diplomats. Ireland, he's like, to hell with these regulations. I'll leave my car here. At least, one thing I will say in the year 2024, Irish vehicles are a lot less likely to detonate in Manchester. Back in 1996. <sighs> all right, guys, I'm gonna crack a joke about the wokeism, diversity, all that good stuff. So we're here outside 20 stories. It's a restaurant next to the Ivy. And uh, they've decided to put the atomic chemical composition of cotton. Hmm, okay. Why would they pick cotton? Are you guys picking cotton? Why would they? I don't know. Oh, I get it. Cottonopolis was the name of uh, Manchester. Cottonopolis, not Metropolis, not Borisopolis. Tonopolis. What a strange name to pick in 2024. No, not the name, the exhibition. I wouldn't have picked it. Would you have picked cotton? Found out a little bit more, you saw in the video before this one, why there's a territorial assault unit, the special forces of the police. There was a family in court yesterday, a big inquest as to how she died. A 12-year-old black girl died. Uh, nobody knows why. His Majesty's coroner came back with she died of natural causes. The family... Oh, wow. The family, indeed. The, yeah, the fucking family. Yeah, man. Yeah, that was cool. So, uh, snap. Jinx. The family kicked off. The dad got angry. And the police were called. So, uh, yeah, there's a, a long history of people not happy. Oh, yeah. Not happy with uh, what the court says, and then they get aggressive. But there is no joke, no humor, no humiliation. A 12 year old girl anywhere on the planet is, sorry, dying. 12 year old girls in themselves are not tragedies, but when they pass away, no parent should ever have to bury their young children. 
Here's a big orange bus for FGH security, keeping people safe. It's all bullshit. It's all bullshit. You know, this like Shosek, if uh, someone was praying and acting a bit brown, acting a bit brown with a big pack pack, they'd be like, well, I ain't no racist. Being racist is the worst thing ever. Next thing you know, kaboom. 22 people, including eight-year-old Safi Rusos, murdered. So... When, where is it? Where is it? When they say keeping people safe, I can't pinch enough salt. I want to correct the Western stupid sticker. My name is Sergei Vladovic, and I can tell you the, the history is red. The history is full of starvation and uh, suicide and depression. The future is not red. Okay, we're at the junction of Oldham Street and Cracky Gardens. We'll do it live, as we like to do on this channel. There's a police car there. There's an officer speaking to a granddad and his grandkids. And uh, I thought that there would be an incident, but no incident, so we're going to cut. Well, I didn't think there was an incident. The policeman got back out of his car. Is he being nice? I hope so. I walked past. It seems like the granddad doesn't speak English. The police officer asked, what's her second name? And the slightly older girl started answering. They lost someone. Plot thickens, as do the amount of people. I'm gonna turn the camera around and tell you guys a story about something I saw on Instagram Reels that made me absolutely livid. The caption at the top of the short, I don't know what's it called, Reel, it said, how to end an argument with one good throw. And I was like, okay. So the camera starts, there's a guy in the middle of the road arguing with a group of about 10 guys in the pub. They're in like a side of the road Weatherspoons, and the guy in the middle of the road is getting filmed by someone who is facing both the man and the men in the pub. One of the 10 guys in the pub throws an empty pint glass at the guy that's in the middle of the road shouting. It hits him, bang in the middle of the forehead, dunk, and falls down and smashes. And then the guy who's been hit, he goes, oh shit, and he thinks better of it, and he walks away. And all the men in the pub start cheering like it's the funniest, best thing. Someone made a bloody short, short form media out of it. Put some emojis. Ha ha ha. To all my viewers, let me just give you some advice. Never throw glass at someone's face across the road. If that glass smashes and lacerates them. You're going to spend the next few years in jail. And how are you going to feel just because someone's arguing? I just fucking hate this glorification of like animalistic hoo, 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 primate violence. So this is, uh, they did it to Whitehall yesterday and they did it to the labor headquarters. But when they spray, and by, by, by I mean by they, the pro-Palestinians, pro-Palestine, they use water-based red paint so it washes off easily so that their sentences are probably a bit less uh, savage. But, uh, <laughs> Who was I watching? There was a guy who went to Croydon and he was shocked that there was a security guard in the Costa Coffee. Wait till he sees central Manchester. Armed ones. You can tell by the red asterisks in the windows. So uh, I, I got, you know, I, I clickbaited. I got clickbaited. There was breaking news. Knife man knifes a bunch of people gets killed by the police so I click on it find the relevant videos on Twitter and I have to admit after seeing the guy whilst the other man screams and then seeing les gendarmes the French policeman with his semi-automatic rifle pumping rounds into him that footage is out there I was like shoot him again just in case the view across cracky gardens they're patrolling oh they're turning around no other city centre in Britain has as many constant police incidents as Manchester. I had a look around, the, the cops saw me coming, GMP, and they're like, shit, that retarded uh, photon guy's coming, we don't want to be on this channel. So they ran out, they ran out, I can't even tell which shop they've gone into, they're arresting a crackhead, and we're not going to see it. When you absolutely positively do not want to let those horny men see any skin. They can't wait to buy some nice colorful fashion and then hide it under a big black uh, abaya. Is that the right name? Abaya? 
The Gorangas are doing, a, I guess, a week-long camp. I don't like how it focuses on my face so much and gives me a nice depth of field. You guys might like it, but... Anyway, have I... I think I did this two videos ago. They're, uh, they're above money in the 3D physical world, but they're raising money for their 3D physical world. There's no contradiction, it's fine. Someone's kicking off, angry. Physical. Just another day in Manchester, guys. This guy here. I wonder what's in his bag and the guy across there. I'll tell you what's funny. All right, wait. We'll wait till they finish shouting. Uh oh. Here we go. Here we go. Peace. Maybe they're gonna have peace. They're gonna cuddle now. Wait, they're gonna cuddle now. <sighs> uh oh, it's kicking off again. Oh no, one of them's running away. Red luggage bag. Red carry on luggage. And then you've got the leather trousers with the jacket here on my left. Wow. Jog on, he says. Jog on. It's quite weird. They didn't get that violent with one another. A couple of fisticuffs, but uh, for Manchester, that's really tame, actually. Like, really tame. Well, the man is literally jogging on with his red drag-along bag. So guys, you just saw a little bit of activity under the covered section of Market Street. I'm with Marlon. How are you, Marlon? Not very really that well. Not that well. Um, what's what's happening? I've just seen um, someone attacking a, a homeless person. He was attacking a homeless and guy. He was a bully and yeah. trying to get money off of him in Manchester. Yeah. Um, I think he was addicted to spice or something. The guy with the red carry-on bagger. Yes, yeah. Yes. But it's not nice to do that to anybody. So obviously I had to stand in, didn't I? Good on you, Marlon, because that guy, the homeless guy, Thomas, he's clearly got, he's yeah. a simple man yeah. in mind of a child. Yeah. And you stopped someone bullying him. Yeah, because he could have hurt him, he could have attacked him. Could have stolen his money or anything, yeah. He could have yeah. stabbed him, he could have done anything to him. Anyway, Marlon, thank you very much. Well, well, well. I haven't heard this many sirens since the 7th of July, 2005. I was living in London and I was like, why are they evacuating the underground? Oh look, here's an undercover Skoda. There we go. Go on undercovers. That's like the guy that pulled me over, gave me my first speeding ticket. Something's happening. I reckon someone misgendered someone. That guy, he's like just in a massive rev. Real, real. His baggies. He's getting the bag. How much, mate? Three for a hundred. There you go. He's like, wait, there's people watching. <laughs> so uh he was revving like crazy viewers, and I've missed it again. But there's a man to my left. Was he revving hard? Fucking <laughs> anyway. The man driving a banana will be famous on the show tonight. There you go. Anyway, in case it wasn't drugs he was buying, don't sue me, he was allegedly buying drugs. All right, viewers. Northern Quarter, around here. Arndale Center, Central Manchester. Bury Salford that way. Liverpool, get on the ring road. But the reason I've felt this big tower here is being demolished. I mean, it's lasted a wonderful 31 years. And now the forces of capitalism, better than the socialism, <laughs> socialists of forcealism, better than the forces of socialism. But uh, it's just impressive. It's gone now. Bring it down, boys. Bring it down. Or maybe, maybe it's getting renovated. It is so much easier to destroy than to create. 
beer time. Uh, the Lola, Lola Cabana. How are you? <laughs> yeah, that's it. Sorry to all the ladies out there. I'm, I'm with dogs now. <laughs> the same film crew from yesterday. All my troubles seem so close to me. <laughs> Still black in there. Still dark. Anyway, I am happy that Music Man and his cat. Here he comes. This is the longest, uh, longest uh, arrival. Hey, you okay? There's a good enthusiast. Here he is. Go music, man! In Manchester, we've also got a laundrette pretending to be a bar. Here we have a pawn shop. No, other way around. It's a bar pretending to be a laundrette. And here we've got a bar pretending to be a pawn shop. Check out the CRTs. And all the, all the kind of younger guys. Charlie, what's a CRT? It's a cathode ray tube. And it fires something at the screen like across like that. And then it creates an image. It does that every sec every many times a second. I'm not an engineer. I don't know. Anyway, it's a bar, not a pawn shop. That's the point I'm trying to make. Disco ball helmet. Mm. Protect your purple helmeted warrior. <laughs> yep, I agree. This shot is for Laura, who's a big fan of the Whippet. Oh god, look how busy it is on Cracky Street, Market Street. No! Oh, he's got a cult following now. Go on, Medi. The busker guy is actually a very nice guy. Hero paramedic on his way to another passed out cracky, no doubt. He's a very nice guy too. Okay guys, in the arms race against the crackies, they now have Titan security. Where's the crackheads at? Secret Mars colony exposed, time travel projects, alien technology, afterlife, science, teleportation. Cool bro, nice story. I saw some uh, bright poison dark fraud uh, toxicity warnings and uh, a lot of red. Look, there's more. And uh, look at that, of all the cars there. Hello, 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 it's all going on. But I just wanna. Don't think we're gonna find any natural redheads today, guys. Okay, well, Volvo have got a thing here in Exchange Square. It says about the EX30. It's small, it's mighty, it's here. <laughs> That's what uh, my mate Dave tells all the girls when uh, he unzips. So Volvo, I don't know if you knew this, they're launching a car exclusively for ladies, for the females. Are you making fun of my accent? How dare you? How dare, like everyone, look at her. Making fun of me, how dare you, you bully. Anyway, forgive, for, they don't understand. They hear a different accent, they get all xenophobic. The car for the late, I don't, the joke's not even appropriate anymore. I'm not going to do it. Should I? Should I tell the joke? Yes. I'm sorry? I said something very interesting. Thank you. Yes. Oh, yeah? Oh, wow. Oh, okay, I'll finish it. I'll finish it. I'm mad to. Volvo are launching a car exclusively for women. They're calling it the Volvo. The Volvo. <laughs> would you would you buy your wife the Volvo? No, it's the Volvo Volvo. Only for women. No, because men don't have Volvos. We've got Volvos between our legs, but women got the, the Volvo. Thank you. Joke, yeah, it? Yeah. it is. Anyway, come and give me a hug. Come and look at this. He's going to get his wife a new Volvo, but not the Volvo Volvo. Hi. Thank you. <laughs> Here's a nice moment. The elderly Orthodox gentleman has his uh, mobility thing helped into the back of the taxi. <gasps> Sorry, dude. Human beings want to help one another. We're like that. We don't want war. We don't want death. We don't want destruction. We all want dignity and to raise our children in peace. We want to be free from interference and tyranny. 
and we just want to have those quiet moments when no one's fighting and everything is truly okay. I hope you guys know the song, right? Because I want to hear Here we song. go, Alan. So let's get it. Go we rescue them. Well, viewers, I think it's time to turn the camera around, wrap up the video, and wish you all a very happy evening. And I will see you as always on the next one.